It was breathtaking. I think if, if you had to sum it up in a word, it was breathtaking. You know, to be a high school student and kind of walk down old campus and the sunken gardens. This is what you envision college being about. Uh, it was breathtaking. It was awesome. Being a Virginia young man, of course, I was aware of the academic reputation. I was also aware of the athletic reputation. Uh, they've had some good teams, they had some good teams at that time, and uh, so it, it was something that was very attractive to me, not only academically, but athletically. I love, I love Coach Laycock. Uh, I love him now, I love him then. Uh, he had a quiet confidence about him. He was very professional. His passion for the game showed through, even though he was somewhat of a reserved personality. Um, I wanted to be like him. You know, and that's probably probably one of the reasons that, that I got into the professional coaching. When we come together, you know, everybody likes to talk about games and moments and things of that nature. And that's really the only time you think about those things. Uh, when you're by yourself, when you're off doing whatever it is that you do, you just think about the people. Um, the, what, what a moment in time it was. What a collection of special people in a special place. And it brought the best out in all of us. The lessons that you learn in athletics, not necessarily football, but athletics in general, are life lessons. Um, you learn how to deal with success. You learn how to deal with failure. Um, you know, expectations were high here, and uh, there's nothing wrong with that. You gotta learn to embrace that. And I think that's why so many young people that, that come through this university and this athletic department are successful in whatever they choose to do, whatever field of human endeavor they choose to do. Because, uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, it's just young people walking around this place, and it's a, it's a proven ground. It's a special place. The things that I'm able to do today are because of my experiences here, the people I've met, the way I was able to grow uh, personally. Um, it, I, I feel a sense of obligation. Uh, this place is, uh, is central to my growth and development and, and really gave me the tools to do the things that I do on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm Mike Tomlin. Let's go, Tribe. Thank you.